Hey, what is up everyone? I hope all of you are doing great. And here comes the million dollar question. Did Nan Academy approach me with any offer? Before answering that question, I would like to tell you something. Yesterday, I was browsing through YouTube and I saw a video. And in that video, there were two separate videos merged together. And in that video, there were two educators. Uh, they were very famous. They are very famous in YouTube, and they are claiming that some edtech company approached them and offered them some amount so that they could teach in their platform. And the amount that they told that the edtech company were offering them were insane. Uh, first person told that he was offered seventy-five crores, and the second one told that he was offered hundred and seven crores. I mean, really, that much amount? There are too many zeros in this figure, right? And uh, I looked up something, and I saw that. Uh, I hope few of you might know that Mr. Aditya Puri. Okay, Aditya Puri was the former. Uh, is the is the former uh, CEO of HDFC Bank, and you know HDFC Bank is the Largest bank in India according to market capitalization, and uh, his salary in his peak time of his career was about eighteen point nine crores per year. Okay, now what do you people do? I mean, what do these two people? Uh, I mean, do do they teach uh, how to turn rock into gold or something? I mean, just to get views and just to. pretend that they are some kind of saint and uh, they ignore this amount <laughs> just like it is some change amount like that i mean really they could come up with any stupid number and just fool their viewers right i think uh, we should uh, you should stay away from this kind of people right and the answer of this question did this academy or whatever nan academy approach me with any offer the answer is of course no because i am a stupid person uh, let's not waste much of your, much of your time and come to the solution of today's question <laughs> and in in today's question we have an insulated conducting rod in shape of a five star like planar structure carries a current i in the regions to the left and to the right of a line a1 a2 okay so a1 a2 uniform magnetic fields each of induction b exist perpendicularly into and out of the plane of the star as shown in the figure if length of a side of the unit cell of the grid shown is l so each grid is of length l okay find force of interaction between the current and the magnetic field okay fine so in the left half of the picture the magnetic field is into the plane of paper and in the right half it is coming out of the plane of paper and the current is flowing like this okay so we'll divide this whole diagram into two halves the left part and the right part okay so for before that let us tell, uh, let me tell you a small piece of theory so in presence of a uniform magnetic field if a wire is in this kind of structure i have broken this wire into different uh, lengths okay l1 l2 and the same amount of current is flowing of course so each portion of the wire will experience a separate force i l1 cross b i l2 cross b like that so if you take i l1 plus l2 common cross b you will get that l1 plus l2 plus l3 will give you a resultant vector l So L vector starts from the beginning of the first wire, a first portion, and it will end to the last end of the last means last wire, right? I hope you can understand. Beginning to end, this will be the resultant L vector. So it doesn't matter if this wire is like this or like this. We just we will just concentrate on the starting point and the ending point. This will be our useful vector. L vector, right? Fine. So let us come to the problem. So I have divided the whole structure into two parts. The red part resembles the left side. <coughs> so 
In the left side, the magnetic field is directed into the plane of paper. I have already drawn the coordinate system. So minus B K cap. So please watch this one. The wire going from 1 till 2, then 3. Okay. So the L vector is just 1, 2, 3, this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So the length vector would be 4 L J cap. Okay because it is in this direction and that portion that means this portion of the wire will experience a force of i the length vector cross the b vector that is 4 i b l minus i cap similarly for this portion of the wire 1 4 3 the f l vector would be the same 1 4 3 is 4 l j cap so i times 4 l j cap cross minus b k cap it will give you 4 i b l minus i cap ok so our left half of the work has been done so let us come to the right part in the right part similarly we will just uh, of course the magnetic field is coming out of the plane of paper if we will write b k cap so 3 5 6 1 that means 3 5 6 1 so starts from here ends to here so the l vector is here so 1, 2, 3 and 4. So it would be minus 4 L J cap and the force experienced would be minus 4 L J cap cross B K cap. Right? So the resultant force would be 4 I B L minus I cap. 3, 7, 1. 3, 7, 1. I hope you understand this one. So the beginning point, ending point, just connect the vector here. 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 4 L J cap again. So I times minus 4 L J cap cross B K cap will give you this one. So just add these four forces, you will get the net force and it is 16 I B L minus I cap and minus I cap represents that the net force is towards left. Okay. So this was a pretty easy question and uh, I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Peace.